Welcome back to another installment of Household Alternatives to Commercial Resin Dyes. Two things, one we need a better name, and two, this one is all viewer suggestions. First suggestion is pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice, if you didn't already know, technically no pumpkin involved. Cinnamon, nutmeg, allspice, ginger, and cloves. And today we're using Total Boat Resin. Perfect for these because we've got the pump pots. We'll just do a pump of each and stir that up. Ooh, yes. So this is a dry powder, which means that it should work really well. I don't see why this one won't work as well. It is a little grainy, but uh, yeah, we'll see how that works. Got a new set of molds today. Uh, they look like little monsters here. So let's go ahead and fill up one of these monsters. Fill them up with pumpkin pie spice. You want some pumpkin pie spice? He seems to like it. Toilet bowl cleaners. For real. Somebody suggested blue toilet bowl cleaner. Uh, okay. Yeah, let's try it. Like some strange looking lollipop here. This mortar does not get used in the house for very good reasons. Oh, it's not. Oh, it's not. I thought it'd be hard. I thought this was gonna break like a powder. But it's not, it's more gummy. You can hear it, the way it sticks. I'm presuming it, it will dissolve in water. A little amount in resin, and that's not doing anything, it's not dissolving. So I thought maybe it needed just water like you would get in a toilet bowl. And so this is actually warm water. I try to break it down a little bit, and that didn't do aninything. And so here I actually ended up putting it in paint thinner, and that's, that's not doing anything. So I'm guessing um, this isn't going to work. It doesn't appear to be doing anything. So, so I say the toilet bowl cleaner. Um, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna call that one a wash. Pepto Bismol. This stuff is bright pink. It is used to calm your stomach. If you don't know what Pepto Bismol is, then you weren't in my house because my parents used it like a cure-all. If Alka-Seltzer couldn't cure you or Pepto-Bismol, you were beyond saving. Woo, that is bright pink. It's, um, it's definitely opaque. You can't see through it. How'd your tummy feel, fella? Did your tummy feel bad? Want a little Pepto-Bismol? Go into the arms. Why isn't it going into the arms? Slowly. So this is the one that we did in the second video. And if you want to see those results, then you can head on up over here and check out that video. But these, these are all different colors of highlighter. So I'm going to go ahead and batch these all out together. And kind of pop it out there. All right, now I'm gonna mix up one, two, three, four, five cups of resin. Start with orange. And then what comes out is this tube is basically just soaked in the highlighter uh, ink. And we're just gonna basically milk it directly in to the cup here. Okay, blue just started squeezing out from both sides. So yeah, I'm gonna take these gloves off before I cross-contaminate everything. Just mix them up. A really nice color. I think the highlighters are gonna be cool. Ooh, purple's nice. Mrs. Brown's favorite color is purple. She'll like that one. Pink. That's bright. That's much brighter than the Pepto-Bismol. 
Pepto. Highlighter's going to make a run for your money here. I'm going to say it's a lot less work to get the Pepto out than it is to get the highlighter. And the last one is orange, which is I put in a lot. I didn't know it was the first one, so I squeezed in a lot. It's actually got a, a really dark color, but I think if I'd have been a little bit more conservative with it, I've got a better color. It's almost a, a red. And here's purple. Actually, we'll do the we'll do the pink side by side. Blue. This kind of looks like a water monster with all of his tentacles. This is much brighter. I mean, it's a neon. And last but not least, green. Green also looks translucent. Sweet, which leaves me one more opening. Another suggestion I got a lot was using colored pencil. You can see that I've sharpened the tip there. So all I'm gonna do is just break off the tip and then sharpen it a couple more times. Break off another tip. I really don't see why this won't work. I mean, oh, maybe because it basically just draws itself on the inside. Oh, there we go. Add our color pencil lead to it. Looks like a really nice color. Oh, you got it right in my eye. Actually, while we wait for those to cure, let me show you the leftovers from the last video we did. Uh, I didn't save them all, but I saved these three, which was the charcoal dinosaur. I think charcoal still looks amazing. This one is glow stick, and that came out great. And this last one is what happened to the mac and cheese. So this was the mac and cheese powder, and over the course of a few weeks, it started turning this color. Now, I guess in a way it's sort of interesting, but it doesn't look at all like what it looked like in the video. It's been a few days, these should be completely cured by now. We're gonna start right up here at the top with pumpkin spice. Look at that, it's actually a really nice uniform brown. That's adorable. All right, well let's go right on to the next one. Let's go on to Pepto-Bismol. Little eyeball got stuck in there. Nice, again, a very nice uniform color. It is totally opaque. It's adorable. It's actually a really nice color. Cool. So there's two in the wind piles. Now we should move on to the highlighters. Orange. Purple. Oh. Pink. and green. Looks like they definitely all came out. They all had a little trouble coming out of the mold and they've got these marks on them. So upon closer inspection, it looks like these marks are actually tiny little bubbles uh, that settled, which is really odd. Bubbles usually rise to the surface, but these look like they settled down in the bottom of the mold. And they've all got them just a massive amount of tiny little bubbles. It's really interesting. I wonder what, what happened. Um, so if you're using highlighter dye, uh, putting it in a pressure pot is probably a good idea. That'll totally get rid of this, this issue. But the color looks good. Actually, it looks really good. Let's look at the last one, which was a last minute change because toilet bowl didn't work. I think we might have our first translucent dye here. 
So you can see I did not do the best job grinding up that pigment. I've actually got a lot of flex in there and that's just that's not ideal. <laughs> uh, I could have spent some more time maybe at the mortar and pestle grinding that up a little better and I think it probably would have gotten rid of that. It's a nice color but um, definitely definitely has some of the pigment that didn't completely suspend in the resin. It actually ended up settling on the bottom there. Great color, interesting results. Colored pencil, I'm not sure that's a win, but it's not bad. Might May or may not be worth your effort. Pumpkin Spice, Pepto-Bismol, the Highlighter Gang, and the alternate <laughs> colored pencil. <laughs> They're adorable. Aren't they? Look, they all stand up, too. Look at the little bug-eyed dude. Look how cute. Oh, the pink one with the little eyes, that is adorable. Which one, the first pink one or the second pink the one? The darker pink one. Oh, that's highlighter. I like that one too. He's got the cutest little eyes. Doesn't he? Oh you could thank your mother for the molds. The one, the brown one at the end looks really happy as well. He's like, hi. He's pumpkin spice. <laughs> Everyone loves pumpkin spice. And under a black light. <laughs> wow, look at that. Pepto-Bismol. Um, a little bit the blue highlighter and then these two are just crazy in fact let me just turn down the lighting here <laughs> I had to turn that way down just so you could see the detail on them that's how bright they are the green and the pink are definitely the brightest and a little bit on the blue thank you very much for watching and Mr. Pumpkin Spice you are about to become a very popular fellow.